one of the things that people have known about my work for a while is the work that I've done with quilts. And so I included this series of, of um, images to kind of talk about process a little bit and, you know, that look, think, and respond as a figurative painter, as a person who paints from life, you know, there's first looking at something and the importance of that. And usually in that process, for me, um, that's a whole process. And really, I hope by the end of this talk, you'll see that it's more than just a process of making work, it's a philosophy of life. So this is a sketch uh, of one of the backs of the quilt. I found the back of a quilt to be interesting. And I've done a lot of paintings of quilts. Um, I'll just go through some of these to show you the process of, one, there's a process of looking at an object, working from it, but then there's also the process of looking back at the art, thinking about it, and then continuing to um, respond to that. So this is a large painting. The first was a study. It was a small um, um, oil pastel. This painting is about nine by nine foot square of the back of the painting, a back of the quilt. One, after doing the bigger piece, usually we think about studies being something that you do in preparation for the larger painting. But many times to think about the larger pieces, I'll go to a smaller, smaller scale and just paint as a way of thinking about uh, the same subject. And this is the same, um, same quilt, but done at about three by three feet. And the, 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 um, the point here is just to see how when it's made smaller and sort of the same thing done again and again, how it, it's different each time. This is the same quilt, but just abstracted. And this is the same quilt, except this time, the thought is, what if I paint the front and the back? And what if I put them side by side so that you can see both the front and the back of that quilt? Um, and it's, this is done in acrylic on paper. And obviously, it's, it's, it's done in a sketchbook. You can see the sketchbook paper. And in, in, in this, this painting is also a thought. You know, before I, I, I look at it and I think, I wonder what that, that looks like. And so I do it, something quick, something fast. And then if that continuing thought or, um, goes on, then it becomes a painting. And obviously very different as a painting, the same thing. Um, and so I just thought there's something about looking and thinking and working um, and, and, and basically responding to, to these thoughts and this imagery. Um, this piece was in my last show at, at, uh, at Valley House. Um, those of you who know my work, one of the early pieces, it was the large quilts that people um, saw a lot. And so just kind of on this same theme, this was a piece called A Love Supreme. And it was four large paintings. They were about 20 feet long each. And they were designed to totally encompass the viewer. And so what you see there is a shot where um, you see the one 20 foot long panel and then these are the other panels on uh, different walls going forward toward you where you could see what it would look like being inside that piece. Um, and that was the initial thought. I was thinking, you know, there was a lot of, um, um, I had a lot of thoughts about creating this piece. And the reason I worked from quilts to begin with was the fact that my grandmother was a quilter. And um, after a while, at some point during graduate school, I, I realized um, that that quilting practice was a cultural part of, of, um, of my heritage that I never really acknowledged or even knew. It's kind of like a fish in water, doesn't really know the water. And this was a part of my culture that I, we were sleeping in the quilts, we were always around them, but then you never really think about it. But when I thought more about it, those quilts, um, they were actually like my grandmother's art form 
and me as an artist. It was a way of connecting to her as an artist. So I thought of this as a piece. Um, here are some of the individual panels so you can see them. So this, this panel, each panel sort of represented a season, and this was a summer panel, and it's not all the way complete in this slide. And they're eight by 20, 20 feet long. This was the winter panel. This is fall. And this piece, which is semi-abstract, was spring. Um, I'd always dabble, you know, I did representational paintings, but I also did abstractions. And I really had a, a, a um, I was scared to let people see that for a long time. And at a certain point, you know, it came up. Uh, I thought about it and I decided that uh, I felt like I could show them. But here's the thing. So you create this piece. It's a large piece. It took me quite a while to make. Um, it's four pieces that are designed to totally encompass the viewer. And then there's the process of thinking about it. So I had to make changes to it. For one, it was a little claustrophobic being a 20-foot square. So we had to scoot the pieces back. And you can enter in at the corners to maybe like the, the ideal setting is like a 25-foot room where you can enter in at the corners. And you sit in the middle. You, you, you stand in the middle of the piece and, and are able to the piece sort of forms a space. And that's really kind of important, too, because I have um, I had a growing interest in spaces and, and never really thought about it. But um, I, was re I was kind of creating a space with these paintings. But I continue to, to think about that idea. And as a way of thinking, um, I paint it. And so, for instance, while this is a 20-foot long piece, I got smaller and decided what would happen if I did the same abstracted group of quilts, but smaller where I could be a lot looser and go a lot faster. Well, this is what it looked like. It's about six feet long, um, a little over three feet high, and there it is. Um, there's something about like time and to think about a thing and to think about it again. And so even with this series that I call A Love Supreme, um, I, I literally, um, in a printmaking residency, I decided to create prints of the four seasonal pieces 20 times. And on the prints, I painted on top of them. Each one of them, I painted them and I distorted them. Here's a couple of shots of some of those. Well, uh, that one at the, on the top left is really interesting to me now. It's in the back of my mind. Here's another one. And so at some point, there'll probably be a response of another large series, totally abstract, of those quilts. But maybe it'll be drawing. Black and white would add additions of color like that, the piece you saw at the top left in the back. Um, I'm supposed to do a, a um, Elaine de Cooney has a house somewhere um, in the, this neck of the woods. And um, I'm supposed to do a, a residency up there. And those are the pieces I'm thinking about dealing with when I'm up there.